This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Finally, know where Sean is. These elevators are so fucking weird. Sean. Sean. Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. It's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father! What's going on? What's happening? Yes. It's me. Your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please, try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean, the real Sean, right now! I know, I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I want answers, asshole. Now. Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity, but I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. The fuck is Sean? I am Sean. I am your son. What? How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant. 
but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. They stole you, kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was Fuck. the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Okay, I'm so lost over this guy being Sean. How the fuck is Kellogg not that old then? This really is a matter of importance. Uh huh. I don't believe you. There's no way any of this is true. I wish there was something to say. I know this isn't what you want, but it's the only truth I can offer you. You're my son. Then prove it. Now. I've already told you how I came to be here. I don't know what further proof I can offer that would convince you. I've shown you my trust. Your weapons haven't been confiscated, and I stand unarmed before you. Please. There's no way that Let's Sean. Just talk. If this is true, where do we start? I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. He was a murderer. He killed your mother. Believe me, I am well aware of the atrocities Kellogg committed. I suspect there are many more we'll never know of. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness 
far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Mother. She never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? They fucking brainwash him if it is, Sean. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some <coughs> important breakthrough. <coughs> Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? I still don't believe him. You want me to stay here? Yes, that is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. It's time to pull a bunch of brainwashed little fucking zombies. Your Institute has done some horrible things. Yes, well, the world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've aided in order to get here? What atrocities have they committed? The Brotherhood of Steel. They believe they're the only ones fit to control technology and destroy anyone who opposes them. And you would side with them. None have any true claim to nobility in this world. Those days are gone. But we are not the monsters we have been cast as. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry to hear that. I had certainly hoped we could work together. But every man must make his own decisions. If you choose to leave, I cannot force you to stay. Understand, though, that I cannot allow you to remain within the Institute. 
You may have safe passage back to the relay where you will be sent back to the surface. But from that point, you must be considered hostile. I am sorry. I must think first of the safety of the Institute. And in the cruel world that has developed, those who are not with us are against us. The elevator will return you to the relay. This is just weird. There's need to be. I'll believe a little more if I can actually find something that points to what the fuck he is. Or what he actually is. He got refroze. Yeah. So I kinda get the whole age thing, but watching Kellogg's memories he was nine so there's no way that's him I'll come back for that terminal in a minute Sean's terminal password damaged camera Just keep stealing the shit out of here Conrad Kellogg enhanced life expectancy. Yeah. Just the reactions. Cyborg. Predominal primal has enhanced life. FUVVAB offline. Child Synth Project under quarterly review, weapons diagnostics, ongoing phase three behind schedule. They're, ma they're trying to make children synths. Just besides that little mini synth shot we've seen. Director Zimmer still off. Yeah, because I killed Zimmer in Fallout 3. It blew his fucking head off.
Power air water cycles is fully normal. Huh, so there's a way to shut down the synths. I want to test something before I go anywhere. Let's save. Let's just test this and see what happens. Contact detected, possibly. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of red dots. Holy crap. Uh, oh, let's take his lab coat. Holy crap, that's a lot of red. You cannot escape detection for long. No way to pick this. Now I understand. You are hiding because you fear death. So he has no key on him. Scanning. Gone. Excellent. So apparently there's nothing useful on him. The verse what we did.
Sometimes I gotta use the network scanner hollow tape. There, there we go. Now we got it. Remember they said put it into the stupid terminal when you get there. Scan complete. There we go. Uh, add back. I still don't believe that that's Sean. They've got to have him down in there somewhere still. Oh, what the heck. Oh, so they put me back outside the building. It's totally straight down underneath this shit. Zod also wants me to talk to... Preston back in Sanctuary about forming ranks, apparently. Well, let's go back and... Let's get back to Max and quick. I care less about the Minutemen. I've always sided with the Brotherhood. Lancer Captain Kells has informed me that the Institute's on high alert, and you're to blame. Explain yourself, Knight. The Institute is the enemy. I was simply doing my duty. Your duty is to follow my orders to the letter, Knight. Your instructions were clear. You were to infiltrate the Institute, find Dr. Lee, and convince her to return to the Brotherhood. I'm extremely disappointed in you, Knight. My apologies, Elder. Apologies are meaningless. Brotherhood soldiers take responsibility for their actions and move on. I expect no less out of you. Fortunately, this incident doesn't change our current strategy. We have a contingency plan that's already being put into effect that should ensure completion of our special project. Now, I believe you still possess an important piece of data that Proctor Ingram is eagerly awaiting. I want you to bring it to her immediately. And night. 
Don't disappoint me again. Dismissed. So was I able to find Dr. Lee? I wonder. Because that was way before... So I'd have to back jump back a lot farther if I reload something. I don't know, should I change it? See if I can possibly infiltrate them? Because it puts me back 46 minutes, almost an hour worth of time for that load. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, I think it's back to where it was glitched out when I reloaded. They don't have any of my armor or anything. Let's see where we're at. Alright, so it just wants me to do this one again. This is going to be weird as heck. Let's take this one, move it, because they want me to power up that one. Alright. That's how we build the beam emitter again. Alright. Hey, right, there's your beam emitter. And power it up. And there we go. No, oh, it did it. Tap once, there we go. Remarkable work, Knight. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? You sure Ingram knows what she's doing? Proctor Ingram's managed to keep a 40,000 ton airship aloft for the past five years. I'd say that earns her the benefit of the doubt. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. What are the details of my mission? I'm glad you asked. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. That's fortunate. Yes, it was. Securing useful resources during wartime is critical. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel. She never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. 
I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. I want to know what to do if she refuses. Nothing that would provoke a hostile response. If she refuses, you're not to press the issue. Remember, infiltration of the Institute is our larger goal. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. You already know that they're going to say that, so I'm just going to... Tell the so-called Sean guy I've checked and to go fuck himself and just try to find and help the Brotherhood, because I highly doubt Father is Sean, and I don't want anybody telling me, "Oh, it is if you've beaten the game or not." I want to find out for my own. I don't like the story getting ruined. <coughs> Let's do this. <coughs> Head up yeah. onto the platform and we'll see if I can find something <coughs> to move on to. Oh, it's fucking cold sucks. You wanted to get into the institute, right? Well, what are you waiting for? It's shit already. The device doesn't work from over there. You have to be on the platform. You have your assignment, soldier. Move out. I am, I'm standing on the damn platform. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, Refrain this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can mission. about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well. Looks like we have a winner. Dr. RF is a wave valuable capture asset. complete. If any Ramping harm comes the emitter. to it, 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help but, shape the future. Uh, way too many fucking nerds walking around. Easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must be yeah, open up around. door. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. I 
as you've seen, things above are uh, unstable. Yeah, unstable. I'd like to talk to you totally. About what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Come on, Sean. We need to go. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Sean, open the door! I don't know you! Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try to keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been... Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. This is insane. All of it. The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Please, just try to relax. I know this is all difficult to take in. Just help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers, and answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. <laughs> oh, come on. That's crazy. I assure you, I am completely sane and entirely honest. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. They stole you, kidnapped you. It wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. 
The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides <coughs> in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced new... I was exactly what they needed. Uh -huh. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Are you from so you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. Look at this thing I'm watching on my phone, it's kind of fucking cool. This really is a matter of importance. No, you guys gotta look up, it's the Snoop Skywalker video. <laughs> Leave it to Snoop Dogg to do something cool. I did. Shared to I hope me. You're not too overwhelmed. 
But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself. A chance to become acquainted with our procedures. I don't know about all that. Don't worry. You'll see. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time. Get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. So how about that? So how about that door is inaccessible? It's oh, nice. Not. Not too bad looking in here. I'm gonna use Sean's terminal to hack shit.
It's an honor to have you here, sir. Um. I can't express how truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. well I can't argue with <coughs> that. Greetings, so, sir. I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. You Hi, Doc. Can return to they weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Ali Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I guess... I just wasn't ready to die yet. Well, that's understandable. The will to survive is the most basic human instinct. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'd like to know about the people in your division. Of course. Dr. Lawrence Higgs is our mechanical engineer. He oversees the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise, and Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food and housing. He coordinates with and of course, Dr. Lee is doing food, that's what she's working on. And nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low priority. Can't remember the name of this ship right now. I'm drawing a complete blank. Yeah, but the one ship from Fallout 3, she was working on making clean, eatable food. As the Institute's record defender, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? By dropping dead. Sure. Let's take a look. See what kind of goodies they got. Experiment 18A. The plasma rifle. And of course, they got coarse room. Coarse uniform, clean room seats. An automatic plasma rifle. Synth body parts. Uh, so robotics, bioscience, let's explore around the institute a little bit more. This actually looks pretty nice. I do like this though, the whole glass walkway up above the waterfalls. That looks cool. How's that a bench? Oh, never mind, there's the seats. So how is the tree thing a bench? <laughs> I 
And that's where Dr. Lee is. Let's hold off on that. Let's go meet these division heads. Good to see you. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious phase three? You know I can't talk about that. You're here. Glad you made it. Good day. Man, systems. No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. We'll start the next trial, then. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job to find out. Now hold still. There. All done. You can return to your duties. And remember to record every symptom you experience in detail. I hope I'll prove a useful test subject for you, Doctor. Mm-hmm. Take good care of yourself, and you won't have to see too much of me. Scanning. Subject identified. <clears throat> Operating at full capacity. Got it. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Welcome to the Institute, sir. Doctor. Our new sense is so lifelike, I keep mistaking them for real people. Welcome. Welcome. It is so good to meet you. I truly hope you'll come to think of the Institute as your home. I think it's a little too science fiction for my taste. Of course, I understand. Nearly all of us were born here, but you come from a very different world. You should know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. Overall insubordination. 
I could go on, but we'd be here for hours. Very well. I'll schedule If you require again. maintenance, please file a report. So I'm live streaming Fallout 4 right now. Everyone's excited about the new synth project. Reporting status. All functions normal. <sighs> yeah, good, just live streaming. Checking out, I finally got into the institute down in their base right now and I'm Apparently, so this old dude's supposed to be my guy's son, which I highly doubt it. Yeah, apparently, because you're getting refrozen, he was trying to say, "Oh, you think it? You thought it was you were only refrozen for ten years when you were refrozen, and it's been sixty. Duh. So right now, right now, but right now he has me running around, me meeting all the heads. At least I'm just getting to know what their names are and who they are. So when I invade the Brotherhood of Steel, I can just kill all their asses. your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. Yes. I'm not betraying the Brotherhood. I'm just. They sent me in here to go find Doctor Lee from Fallout 3. But she's here. Apparently, she's the head of a. Uh, Advanced energetics and doing food and keeping the fucking uh dorms situated. Why? Don't you trust me? Oh, it's nothing personal. I don't. Now, father is at uh, their uh, uniforms their and shit like all weird and fu as fuck. Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping, that matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synth. They are highly self-sufficient. Train what I gather you know. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. <sighs> I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. Now, oh, you're talking about on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, not some uh, somebody that's on your friends list that's message deal. You mentioned that coursers undergo special training. Tell me more about <laughs> it. Apparently, one scientist on here, there's no way you could beat one of our synthetic coursers. They're highly trained and supposed to react faster than humans. I blew its head off of the uh, point blank with a shotgun. Pretty sure, point blank with a shotgun, anybody's head's gone. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The damn thing would have quit twitching, so I just started just blowing its limbs off of it. Yeah, I'm just running around in here too. I'm stealing any ammo and shit I can find. Any other advanced technology I can break down and use these components into building stuff. Like any machine, a synth can malfunction. Just wish it didn't happen so often. Report anything suspicious to the SRV. Oh damn, I found their weapons armory. Take all their fucking ammo. Synth relay grenade. Well, now I know how they're teleporting. They throw down a fucking sensor beam and take off. Says I knew their uh how their uh, in suit. You can't find it anywhere. The only way to get to it is by intercepting one of their transport relays. You end up going and building this uh, signal interceptor just so you can get down into the institute.
Wow. So apparently the one of the guys that I ran into on here that's named Leo is an actual fucking, is a robot and is highly trained in all types of weaponry. Let's not piss him off. But uh, I believe Leo, he's running his own gang. Whoa, they got inform a list of informants. Cricket. Occupation care. Seriously? The one caravaner I've been buying all my fucking meds from is a fucking informant for the Institute. Okay, she's gonna die. So I gotta hunt down Cricket. Tommy Logan. <laughs> Oh, and the one chick that's been hanging out around my fucking, uh, my settlement at Sanctuary Hills is also a fucking informant. Trisha Carla, Caravaner, Locations, Mobile, Dr. Weathers is also an. Why is it all the Caravaners? AJ, Chem Dealer, and Good Neighbor. Chem Supplier. Lucas Miller. And the Barkeeper in Diamond City, Henry Cook. Holy shit. I gotta take down the list of their names so I can assassinate their asses. Use my phone and take a picture of the screen so I can kill him. Alright, let's head to the next set of list. And then the next. All right, there. Now I got the list, my assassination list to do. Hehe. <laughs> Access logs. You'd think they they'd have their list of informants hidden away, so some random person can't just look at their stuff. The hell is that? It's not a gun. Dr. Watson can be a little upset. Oh my god, this chick's talented. She's sitting in the air. <laughs> the director should take the synthesis. Let's see what's down here. Things to reprogram the synths. Confirmed. Remember, health and happiness go hand in hand. <sighs> oh, 
Whoa. Looks like an old ass section of the thing that probably leads up to the ruins of the old institute. Time to examine my latest reports on Batch 274. Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operation. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. Dr. Holdren's Dr. Synth Gorilla project is showing promising. What the results. hell? They've got synthetic gorillas. That must have been terrifying. Oh my god, this is cool. <clears throat> Three levels of approval. You believe that? Three! Still keep the Panda suffering. We can at least keep them for a little bit. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well. I suppose you're right. It's great to have you here. Hey, Doc. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. Oh, it's shit, I'm just amazing. scared if they ever do a fallout and you're over in China and shit. And be able to go see the gorillas. I'm scared to see what the gorilla mutated into. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important direct to that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and yeah. medicine. Yeah, they've got uh, synthetic gorillas in here. Two of them. It uh, looks like a male and a female. The They're really just a pet project at this point. But the potential is exciting, nonetheless. Yeah, I'm scared if they ever have a game where you're over in Asia or going to Africa to see what half those animals have mutated into. Especially in Africa, they got the fucking lions and all that shit. I'm scared to see what a lion mutated into. The thing's probably even bigger of a fucking killing machine. It's all right. No hurry. It's all right. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. <laughs> Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm an outsider. Would there even be a place for me here? Even if science isn't your passion, there are plenty of ways to contribute. Our projects sometimes require an agent who can work on the surface to observe and gather information. From what I've heard, you are both fearless and resourceful. I think you'd be ideal for that kind of role. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Uh-huh. Tell me more about those... On the whole, unfortunately, mm -hmm. they destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. Hmm. 
So if I can unleash the gorillas, they'll do some damage. Okay then, apparently one of my settlements is under control of the Institute. more stuff into the labs excited about the new synth project.
weed. Whoa, they've got super mutants in like fucking test tubes. Somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a God, may He have mercy on us all. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine, with one notable exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from. Well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized. But I really do hope that the consequences are understood. No, I'm going to be jumping on the GTA here soon. This is Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division. March 22-24. We just received another batch of... subjects. But, as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. Right. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new habits and exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board. Exposure to too much radiation. We need something... Someone... <laughs> There's a proposal. I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course.
There, now way less. What is it? Oh, he did eat. Sweet. Yes. Where is it? There, the laser trip wire. There it is. Something's alive. Negative sensor read. Weapons cold. God damn, it's a tough ass machine gun turn. Oh, fuck me. Bad assaultron. Got it. <sighs> the thing strangled the cat for being killed itself. Holy shit. Uh, apparently the super mutant when it was locked in the cell, it was given a couple toys and a, a house cat. It strangled the cat, and then killed itself by bashing itself to death in the head with its own the toys that were in here. Yeah, the super mutants lose their minds after being contained too long, and most of them, the virus they got, it's the FEV virus, will cause them to go completely insane. They're just mutated, uh, mutated humans from the virus. And they're... Oh, yeah, and this all that's left of the cat is just its leg. <laughs> and there's another dead cat over here. Apparently it ate a silver pocket watch. Oh, look, there's another dead one in a box. Oh, look, at there's another dead one. <laughs> So apparently they were trying to cope with the damn super mutants, trying to get them to be nice and all that by giving them cats and killing them. <laughs> There's just boxes of dead cats. <laughs> the fuck? That's it. Yeah. No, it's nice though. And down here in the labs, they still got a bunch of. Mo uh, bottle caps for money and stem packs to heal up. Pork and beans, I'll take the glue. Bobby pins that I don't really need, but duct tape. Illuminati confirmed. Uh. Yeah, they're turning and turning into skanks. Yeah, all the young. Yeah, rewind your age. Be back like what we used to be. A claw hammer. That's the first time I've actually seen a normal hammer. I'll take that with me. That was all the hammers you see on here. 
All I've seen is the ball pen hammer. I've never seen a claw hammer yet on this game. That's the first claw hammer I've found. <laughs> I don't get that why girls got to all the young girls got to dress like they're way older than they are and actually get somehow pull it off and look like they are. Laura, you put your hair back and you look younger. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Alright. Oh, fuck. Stop shooting. I took the whole thing off the wall. <laughs> No, this perk never being able to get locked out is so nice. There we go. Turn it control. Activate. <laughs> a zodiac boat. What the hell's that? Oh, it looks like a d it's a military boat. That doesn't look friendly. I don't want to walk in that. Let's see what's in here. See if I can possibly turn whatever it is off. Nice. Screwdriver, stick a stem pack, ammo, buttons, that'll cat. What does this button do? What does this button do? Oh, it opens the doors. Can 
Mellow. Oh, I backed it out because I was going to check later, see if it's up. Still picking up the party chat in the live stream. Wasn't sure. Uh, I don't know. I have to look on Twitch. If it's still picking up party chat. Yes. Most of it is, then we can use the party chat while we're live streaming on like GTA and fucking be able to do that. Yeah, it's so nice having the perks I do on here. I can never get locked out of computer terminals, Got it. and I my pick locks never break. <laughs> oh. It Nice. Yeah. Really, this is a way to open up these synth gorilla t uh, cartridges. Apparently, reading one of the terminals, they killed their synthetic handlers. Yeah, so they got them in uh, isolation right now by themselves. Yeah, apparently it doesn't pick up the party chat, just mine. Yeah, it is. Nothing to report, sir. Is it true food supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. The hell is Supplement 77? Please ensure that your dietary requirements are being filled. <laughs> I've got a few minutes to browse. Let's see what they're selling. Institute bottled water. An Institute food packet. Okay. Who the fuck is shooting at what? Father's work has been a real inspiration for me. Good afternoon. Food products are available for purchase. Would you care for some? Hmm. Yeah, now time to go find Dr. Lee and convince her to abandon the Institute and rejoin the Brotherhood of Steel. What'd you get from the Illuminati? You got a, you got a Christmas tree from the, the Illuminati pet on Crazy Craft. See anything suspicious lately? Suspicious? No, it takes a little bit to load up and then it gives you random items.
She's been at it for over two hours. What yeah. Oh, last time I was in the online, but I cut on point, Laura and I passed her right out. Safety first. Remember that. Excuse me. Huh? Huh? Doctor. What is it? Well, that was productive. Eighty thousand on the engine. Not everything you've heard about if you the ask me, is true. We're only scratching the surface with the latest synths. Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem huh. distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, well, a lot of us do that. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that I really... Hey, I'm all happy right now. They've got a shit ton of fucking fusion cell ammo for my laser rifle, which is what I've been needing ammo for. It's like all their weapons are energy based. Take those synth relay grenades. Some more fusion ammo. Yeah, their firing range, they just shoot a concrete wall for targeting over there. It's all laser fenced off. There's no way to shut it off. Huh. There's a dude s uh, selling a Civic named Yang Yang. Okay then. <sighs> and Asian as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Dr. Lee on here? I had a concern about your proposed redesign. Dr. Lee on here doesn't even look like she's really aged. What about it? I'm not sure your proposed safety protocols. This is day eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's, huh. well, it's, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations. Some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. No. That, even now, would be a step too far. Okay. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment. This weird Dr. Day. Lee doesn't even look like it's been it's 10, 15 years since Fallout 3. He's not a real boy. Still, she's barely looked like she's aged. Him to the lab only for the Besides, she's in an institute well clothing. Are, are put off by his presence. If I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. Madison Lee. Dr. Lee. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? 
I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm only here with good intentions. You have my word. You're giving me your word? Even though we just met? Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Yeah, they just made so Dr. Leon here. I believe look even more way. Asian than she did in Fallout 3. The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. Huh. Yes, I am. Yes. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. You're wasting your breath. The Brotherhood desired my creations in order to destroy, to take control. I'm not interested in returning to that way of life. I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here. It's still sad, though, that Elder Lyons is dead ago, from Fallout 3. In his lab, and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed yeah. so that it was contaminated. Yeah, the just old, older like guy. Leader, who the was the leader. About it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. But the little boy that was running around the Citadel is now Elder of the Brotherhood. And his, apparently his grandfather and his family is what founded the Brotherhood of Steel. So he's like pretty much supreme leader. I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. Oh, please. Virgil. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? I already have something that might convince you. How did you... Never mind. Just let me see what you've got. Song, babe. What will that be? All oh, the wipers. How do I know you'll honor our agreement? I never promised I'd return to the Brotherhood. I said I would consider it. You're just going to have to trust me. Mm. If the Brotherhood didn't, they wouldn't have risked sending you to find me in the first place. Now hand it over. This wasn't easy to find. Is that supposed to make me feel bad? Just give me what you found. It's kind of cool, though, that they actually got Dr. Lily actually looking like what she's supposed to. Because in number three, she kind of looked white still, but this one, they've actually got her looking Asian. Shit down in the institute doesn't even look like the war hit. It look everything looks brand new looking. Lied to me. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing.
At least the Brotherhood never lied to you. I'm such a fool. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access yeah. to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. <sighs> Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for... <laughs> now I got Dr. Points. Lee returning to the Brotherhood after Virgil. giving her evidence he showing that the Institute lie lied to her about one of her friends she made there. I'll make my way Saying he's dead when he's actually alive. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances... Yeah, as soon as I get out of the Institute, I shouldn't be too much longer. To now it's telling me to report back to the Elder. You're to be given full access Why are you giving me a spinning fuck you? Relay in and out of the Institute at will. She's just giving me the finger and just spinning it around in circles. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. You and she just says it means sit and spin. Access the Institute. <laughs> Andy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, yeah. you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. Nice. Uh, you can now fast travel. Apparently on here, I can now fast travel to the Institute. <laughs> Apparently I tricked them that bad that they're allowing me to come back. And they don't realize too, I'm working for a faction that's helping their creations run away. <laughs> Remember to practice good sanitation habits at all times. That's it. Damn, that was lucky. Master level uh, terminal to uh, unlock can hack into when I did it my first try. Wow. Alright, now it's telling me to go. Upstairs. Yeah, it's so weird that they have like a synthetic version of Sean that's like nine years old. To trick your guy. You first go in and your guy's getting all emotional and shit. Go, it's Sean, it's me, it's me. Just some guy to sit there, oh no, I'm your son, which I highly doubt. If you expect me to be impressed by a lot of fancy sci-fi gizmos, you'd be wrong. I see. It's not just about the gizmos, as you say. I hope you'll see that in time. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized and by... If it is true, then Sean's 260 years old, and his dad's like... advancement comes without occasional setbacks. 280, 280, 290. To 260, his dad would be 280, 290. Because the guy looked young when the game first started. Man, what, what, how you make him look. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree... Yeah, they got a terminal on here talking about Dr. Zimmer. 
a rogue from Rivet City. Over the Raider gang at and it all it says is Director Dr. Zimmer offline. His identity altered. He believes yeah, because you kill his ass in Fallout 3. Or at least I know a lot of people did. Instead of helping and giving him back the runaway synth. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Sure. We'll just fight our way through an army of homicidal maniacs and ask this synth to come on home. I didn't say it would be easy. But I'm confident that with a courser at your side, you'll have no trouble. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. Now this thing's telling me that I need to possibly go attack the railroad. That's not gonna happen. I'm allied with them and I've been helping them get weapons to attack the Institute. Wish I've already got them one pre war military stash with high grade explosives in it. So yeah, I'm totally gonna attack my allies that I'm helping get armed. I was thinking this place looks all nice and fancy for now. Wait until I t we had the Brotherhood and the Railroad and the Minutemen gang up on it and attack them. Their little army of fucking tin cans ain't gonna last too long. When you've got three armies charging down your damn throat. Especially guys that are fucking all in fucking full out power armor. Okay, apparently they're not letting me teleport out. Are they gonna let me fast travel my way out? Oh, it is. Whoa, that's new. Alright, now let's report back to the one chick that had me steal data. Yeah, the, oh, there's one of the people on here, apparently during the war with the Enclave. Oh, they had a bomb hit a cliff she was standing on. Lost both of her legs. And she's just in a frame for a power armor suit that's allowing her to walk still. The only, and the only cause she needs to do is that she needs people to go find fusion cores to put on her. So her suit stays running, otherwise she's frozen in place of wherever she's standing. And apparently this thing I built died. And a bunch of the stuff blew up on it. What the fuck? So I wasted all that material to build it just for it to go kaboom. That is bullshit. Here's your holotape, Proctor. Hope the data on that thing was worth it. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. That was kind of nice, though. I'm not sure what the interceptor would do to you. I wasn't worried. After all, yeah, it's kind of nice. So the way the frame is, you can see right where her stubs of her legs are, how much of her legs she lost. Like the one she lost from the kneecap down, and the other one she lost from just above the kneecap down. Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Yeah. Hopefully it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best case scenario. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan's scribes can get off of it. 
I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some... After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, good luck, Knight. Uh, I'll run back to where the Elder is and give my damn report on what I found. I can come with you. Yeah. So you guys are taking the van? Well, taking the car means I'm gonna have to put gas in it sooner. I know, but it means I'm gonna have to throw more in there. Word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? I've convinced her that the Institute is the enemy, not the Brotherhood. Well done, Knight. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, We'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade. And we can't afford to take any chances. Oh, you were riding with. On to other matters. Thanks to the success of your reconnaissance efforts, it's time to advance our operations to the next phase. I want you to report to Proctor Ingram at the airport. She has a special project that requires your immediate attention. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. <laughs> and there's the mission L uh, started Liberty reprimed so Liberty Prime's coming back the huge giant robot that you've seen underneath the Citadel number three he's coming back yay looks like we have a thruster imbalance <laughs> 